Hello everyone, welcome back to Kimmy's Blossom Cake. Today I'd like to share with you a tutorial on how to make a beautiful wafer paper rose and compare it with a sugar rose. You can find my instruction on how to make a sugar rose in the videos from the last week if you like to watch it. I will provide the link down below. Today's video will demonstrate how to make a wafer paper rose but I will be talking about the advantage and disadvantage of wafer paper and fondant flour instead. Please visit my website if you want to do the written explanation of how to make a wafer paper rose. I will also post the link to this page below. So let's begin by discussing the advantage of wafer paper flowers. The fact that wafer paper is so simple to use is one of its key benefits. Because wafer paper is so light and thin, it is simple to form into complex design. Wafer paper is also eatable, so if you sprinkle with it with water or vodka, it dries quickly. This makes it uh, simple to create wafer paper flowers that are beautiful and come in a range of colors. But so far, if sugar paste flower petals are thick and made without the veins pattern, it looks very artificial, not real flower beauty. Uh, wafer paper on the other hand is thin and malleable which makes it perfect for crafting delicate flower petals and other details embellishment. Wafer paper is excellent at maintaining its shapes uh, and resisting wilting so your flower will remain gorgeous for a longer period of time. Wafer paper flowers are also a more cost-effective option because they can be made in advance, are affordable, simple to store, and require the few supplies. You might simply draw the floral patterns act without using even a cutter. Also, it doesn't uh, require a lot of strings to knead, less arm muscles are needed than sugar paste. On the other hand, let's discuss the benefit of using sugar fondant flowers. One of the main advantage of using sugar fondant is that it's very versatile. It can be molded and shaped into a wide variety of design, making it ideal for creating complex flower designs with many layers and textures. Sugar fondant is also a great option for creating sculptural pieces that uh, can add a three-dimensional element to your cake. Another benefit of using sugar fondant is that it's very durable. Once it dry, it will hold the shapes and structures for long times, which means that your flower will look beautiful for longer period of time. Both wafer paper and sugar fondant flowers have a major drawbacks. Wafer paper flowers can be frazzled, which is one drawback. They can easily tear or break because they are so thin and delicate if not handled correctly. They might be a little trickier to deal with than sugar fondant flowers because of this. 
However, the fact that sugar fondant flour can often be rather heavy and require more time to dry a drawback. They can add a weight to the cake and make it harder to transport because they are made of sugar. Sugar fondant flour can also be quite time consumed to create which means that they might not be the best option if you are working on a tight schedule. Wafer paper blossom might not last as long as sugar fondant blossom, which is another potential problem. This is especially true if the flowers are exposed to humidity or wetness as these conditions can make the petals wilt or change colors. Both wafer paper and sugar roses are sensitive to humidity, but wafer paper is more easily impacted by humidity than sugar, sugar once the flowers are dried. So it's crucial to keep them in a dry spot until they are ready to be placed on the cake. Wafer paper or sugar fondant flowers can be used depends on your personal requirements and taste. Both options have their own unique benefits and drawbacks. Also, studying wafer paper and sugar fondant skill is something you should think about doing if you are a passionate cake decorator who want to produce more varied and distinctive creations. Having knowledge of and experience with both techniques might provide you more alternative for making lovely and breathtaking cake decorations. That's all for today's tutorial. I hope you find this information helpful and informative. Thank you so much for watching. Blossom your cake, blossom your day. I will see you guys next week. Bye bye.